All right, everybody, come on in, come on in. Hey, 10 plus. Yeah, I think I already know we have a problem. I think I have to do that tech support thing on every stream. So anyway, let us continue. For anybody new here, hi, I'm Maggie, your substitute teacher. I would like to welcome you to yet another struggle cooking class where I am not a professional chef, nor am I a professional YouTuber. Clearly, I am not. I am just a mom and a home cooker sharing my love of food on my health and wellness journey with you all. Today, we are baking bread, but not any kind of bread. I saw a recipe that came up in my feed from Low Carb Love for a zero carb bread. I am your substitute teacher because I cook sugar-free, dairy-free, and gluten-free. So that means I'm always looking for sugar substitutes, dairy substitutes, and gluten substitutes. Now, we have made bread before. I love bread. It just doesn't love me back. So I saw this recipe. I couldn't believe it. So we're going to make it together. Have I ever made it before? No. Has that ever stopped me? No. So come on in, sit back and relax. And uh, I'm going to show you all the recipe. Then we're going to get our ingredients together and make it and bake it in the oven. I was actually over here emptying the oven. If you know, you know, uh, so we can actually do this the proper way. All right. So we are going to take attendance here. <laughs> Thank you, 10 plus sounds. We're gonna take attendance. If you would like to be counted present, feel free to announce yourself. However, if you prefer to watch quietly from the clouds and you know who you are, you're most welcome here. We are the happy, wholesome, family-friendly side of YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. And since TikTok, y'all don't ever stop. Whew, let's see, ooh, long list today. Sorry for all of the time changes, y'all. Nana had some appointments today, so I was driving Miss Daisy. <sighs> ah, gotta love Nana. All right, hello, Jimmy Jones, Covenant Creations, Shea Lynn, Cuck B, uh, Richard, The Real, uh, Bria, Henry Marquez, Norma Hale, It's Ro Nicole, um, The Real Bria again, Christy Hines, Evelyn Scott, I Am Sharnita, uh, Snow Leopards, Latasha H, Nana of Three, another Nana in the house, Shirley Starr, Jane Thudson, Libby Trantham, uh, user Layla, no, Leo Dow, Joanna Hutt, Nita Richmond, uh, Joe Sensardo, Chanel or Channel, <laughs> Jack Rath, Rave Crystal, Bubbles, Diana, Moki Cookie, Rhonda, James Anderson, Carlethea Huffin, Ann Smith, Marie Keen, Selma Johnson, Chrissy Pissy. Lord, y'all. Oh, my goodness. Okay, where are we? Mary, Marilyn uh, Burleson, I am Sharnita Herway, uh, Glenn Hamiel, Kay Castro, Big Mama, Susan Brother, uh, F.H. Elmy, Quan, Ron, Ooh, y'all, D. Dixon, Rebecca, user, PMF day. Is it Lage, Candy, Kimberly, Michelle, Angela, Kat Neal, user, Joe, Sammy, Erica, Erna, Mommy, Suzanne, Diana, Erica, Ambitious, The Girl Movement, Raul, R.H., John, and Ropa. Shout out to TikTok. All right, who do we have over here on IG? I see Salvatore. Hello, Sal. Thank you so much for being here. 10 Plus Sounds, my editor. You all know him and love him. If you see any art on my page that looks professional, I did not do it. You already know. Hello, Black Empress. Hello, Reboy, Rebobi. Um, yes, you're here for the bread. We got Centennial G, a huge support in the community, family. Kiss the baby for me. We got Norman the Barb and D-Ray. All right, so as per usual, I'm trying y'all to get everybody onto the side by side, but those of you all on Instagram and TikTok, if you would like the full screen view, you are always welcome to come over to teachablemomentswithmaggie.com. You can find me on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter. All right, so let's see who we have over here. I see two preppy for you. Two preppy says hi. My first time seeing you here. Hello and welcome. Shout you out. Absolutely. We got Greg's VFX. Is that what's up? Hello. How are you? Uh, yes, you're part of the community. Welcome. I'm so happy you're here. EKNL is here for the chicken bread. I am too, y'all. This is interesting. We got Aries one says, hey, Maggie, congratulations on your printed cookbook. Yes, thank you. I have them over there. When we get the bread in the oven, 
I will get the cookbook out. I did make a post in case anyone doesn't know what we're talking about. Uh, let's talk about it while the bread is baking because I think it needs to bake for about 20 minutes. And you said you want to buy an autographed copy. Thank you, sweetheart. You can absolutely, I think I have six or seven left. I will put the, um, what is it? If you want to scan the QR code, you can send $35. That covers everything. I'll autograph it and ship it to you um, and send you the tracking. You can cash at PayPal, Venmo, whatever you like. Links are at teachablemomentswithmaggie.com. Thank you. I appreciate that. We got Linda Kelly in the house. She says, hello, Maggie. Bottom line with Boo says, hi, Maggie. Blessings. My first time seeing you here. Hello, my dear. EKNL says, Welcome back, Maggie. Assuming this might be long if I'm baking. Yeah, I hope not. Let's see, y'all. Um, I've been experimenting with streaming twice a day. Nana called and she needed a ride, so I didn't stream this afternoon, but I was doing like a two-hour stream once a day. Now I'm trying to do like a one-hour stream twice a day. We'll figure it out. Hello, librarian or libertarian. But um, all I can say is stay connected. I'm usually uh, pretty active and posting when I'm gonna go live. So we'll see what happens. We got Patty Moore playing laundry. She says, hello, Maggie. Hello, my dear. We got two preppy for you again. Uh-oh, is it stuck? <laughs> there it is. Um, Patty Moore playing laundry. We got Christina in the house. She says, hi, Maggie. Hello, ma'am. Bonnie Young says, hello, Maggie. And the Watcher Supreme is always here with a plate. Shout out, Team Greedy is ready. Okay, so we're going to clean the counters. I'm going to wash my hands, and I'm going to show you all what we're making today. I printed out the recipe, and I have the video, all right? Now, at first, this seems kind of weird. However, we have made... Or I have seen those of y'all who eat low carb. First of all, if you can have real bread, have some for me. I love it. Hello, it's Aretta. Uh, and hello, Reaching Freedom says, howdy, Maggie. Hello, beautiful picture. Looks like a beautiful fall or winter night. Christina's always cooking. She said, I made flounder tonight. It was delicious. Yeah, I love flounder. I made it for my guy once. He wants like more of a meaty fish, like a salmon or a sea bass. Flounder was a little delicate for him, but I love it. So... It's totally fine. That sounds good. Let me know how you made it. We do like simple lemon pepper old bay. So if you all have been following any like low carb or keto recipes, I am not keto. If you can be keto, do it for me. Uh, keto allows you to have dairy. And so I have to avoid dairy. I'm supposed to. Y'all were six weeks in. I've checked in for my cruise. So I'm like, this is it. No more messing about, Maggie. We're going to get pulling up on two wheels. Um, the group rate is gone. Hello, Neek Nika. But if you all want to travel, rooms are still available. I am having a Maggie meetup cruise next month for my birthday. Um, go to teachablemomentswithmaggie.com. There's a link in the description. You can reach out to our travel agent. She's taking care of everything and rooms are still available. I think there's still good prices. So grab your passports and come sail away with us. For those of you all who can't make it, we'll do it again, maybe next year. And of course, I'll be streaming on the ship. All right. We got Jaleel in the house. Jaleel saying hello. You did mustard breaded sauteed flounder. Yeah, that sounds like um, a cooking with Aisha. Mustard is used in a lot of um, like fried dishes and it gives it an interesting, but really good, but not mustard flavor. All right, let's clean these hands. Oh, so if you all have been following any low carb recipes, you'll notice there's like chicken, pizza crusts and all kind of stuff with extra protein, right? So we're gonna see. And if it comes out good, we're gonna put Excuse me, we're gonna put some butter on it. And y'all know what butter I'm talking about. If you know, you know. Okay, so this, <laughs> I think I'll put the link in the description. Let me turn this brightness down so you all can see. So this is another low carb love recipe, zero carb chicken bread loaf, okay? So I don't know if she has a reel for this one. I'll go over to Instagram and take a look. Um, if not, we are just going to go step by step, but we do need to start by cooking the, um, the chicken. All right. So let's go ahead and get started on that. And then I'll walk you guys through everything while we have a few steps here. Okay. I don't see. All right. So let me go over to her, uh, YouTube page. So let's go through the ingredients really quick. 
you need a pound of ground chicken breast or a pound of chicken breast already cooked. So I like to get fresh. I have nothing prepared, okay? Y'all know those cooking shows where everything is like magically delicious. This is not that, all right? If we mess it up, we just mess it up, all right? So I did get some ground chicken from Sprouts. Okay, so this is ground chicken breast. So this is gonna be very lean. Maybe it'll work with regular ground chicken, but the first time I make a recipe, I always try to make it exactly the way they did, okay? We got Mary and Titi. She says, hey Maggie, thank you for the tropical tea. It was delicious. I'm so glad you liked it. Those of you all who haven't received your tea yet, I'm working on it. I haven't forgot. I got a stack over here of mail that needs to go out. I'm so glad you loved it. Christina says, you're giving up red meat after you got sick. Oh no, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I understand. We got a couple of pescatarians my way too. So I'm always cooking seafood. Hello, I am Ziki, thank you. Jaleel says, hello. Okay, so we've got the one pound of chicken breast. And then the other recipe calls for, a the recipe calls for a half a cup of Parmesan cheese. If you can have Parmesan and the green like shaker can, have some for me. I'm gonna show you my substitute. I don't know if I have a half a cup. We may have to, we'll see. But this is Pecorino Romano. So this is my substitute for Parmesan. It gives me that salty, dry aged cheese. However, it's made from sheep's milk, okay? So when I say dairy free, I have to avoid cow dairy, but I can have sheep's milk, uh, goat's milk products. So those are my substitutes, okay? Some of y'all wanna check me, it's still dairy. Look, this is what I'm doing, okay? Have it your way, Burger King, all right? What else do we need? Five large eggs, so I did get eggs. I got this little cute pack from Sprouts as well. So we have six eggs. This is gonna go into our bread recipe. What else do we need? Half a tablespoon of avocado oil. All right, usually I use coconut oil, the MCT oil, but I do have some avocado oil per the recipe. And salt to taste, we got salt. I'm just using regular Walmart salt. If you have a special salt that you like, go right ahead. Himalayan salt, black salt, kosher salt, all of it's salt. I know not all salt is created equal. Uh, two teaspoons of baking powder. So you will see baking powder in a lot of low carb recipes. It gives your bread substitutes like some fluffiness. And this is a zero calorie ingredient, okay? So we're gonna put a little baking powder into our bread so that it can rise. And then optional seasonings of choice. She uses um, garlic powder and onion powder, all right? So I'll, flat, I'll flip back and forth between this and the, um, the video so you all can see. So step number one, preheat the oven to 365. I'm not doing that yet. Because I take my time here and I'm always bumping my gums, so I will preheat it, but I'm in the South and it gets hot and I'm a woman of a particular age, so I'll put a pin in that, all right? Christina says, what kind of bread are you making? As per the description, zero carb chicken bread loaf. I've never made it before, so we'll see what this turns out to be. Okay, so on the stove, number two, on medium high heat, cook your chicken in avocado oil and salt and let it cool. So let's go ahead and start that, okay? All right, let me go ahead and uh, cook the chicken. The reason why you want to uh, let it cool is we're actually going to put it in the blender and I'm gonna let uh, Low Carb Love explain it to y'all while I get everything ready, okay? So let me go over to YouTube and we can listen to her explain to us what the heck is going on. But the uh, Cliff, Note, Cliff Notes version is we are going to um, put the chicken in the blender with the eggs so you don't want it to be so hot that it scrambles the eggs, okay? So let's see. I'm going to move this back to the beginning and can y'all see? Let me make it a little bit brighter. Oh, we got the ring light doing its thing. There we go. All right, let me give you some sound. Now, this is one of those videos where TikTok made me do it. Okay, I saw 
all this on TikTok. Non-stick. I'm like, wait, what? But the, what is it like? The twist here is that it is made. I'm going to go on medium heat. Okay. So it actually turned out to look like bread. I'm like, okay, what does it taste like? What is the texture like? So we're going to do it. We have our eggs here. We have our chicken. Okay. A few extra ingredients. I'm just kind of going to walk you through it as I'm going through it. I don't know if y'all can hear that. It's super easy because I don't know about you, but like I've always been super intimidated to make like a bread loaf because I'm like Y'all know I'm not a baker, I'm barely a cooker. I think making bread really takes like a part. Y'all know. Do you ever get into one of these and it's like there's like a plastic underneath the plastic and it's like, why isn't it opening? Okay, Julia, you can see it? Okay, perfect. So this is getting hot. I think I'll put a little bit of avocado oil in here. I'm gonna pop this. I'm just going to put a little bit of olive oil, uh, avocado oil in the pan. All right, so we need to get to that point. Now, when you're cooking meat that's really lean, like ground chicken, and this is not just chicken, this is ground chicken breast, so it's going to have low fat content, which is a good thing, right? Let me make sure Instagram is doing well. Okay. Here up. Okay, so you want to have a little bit of oil so that it doesn't stick. If you're cooking like a ground beef that's like a little bit fattier uh, or ground pork, you know you'll have the, the oil kind of come out. But we're good here. I have it on medium. You can see the oil is kind of moving on its own. Yeah, I moved it around and I just kind of put my hands here. It's cold, so it feels good. All right, so let's put the ground chicken in here and we want to cook it and let it cool. And this is one pound of ground chicken breast. All right. All right, so I'm gonna get my pampered chef. Shout out to Richard, my little, whatever it's called. A chop and stir. You can use a spatula too, but this will just let you get in here. Let me see if she seasons it. I think she put some salt in here. avocado oil and salt. So I'm going to go ahead and salt this. Y'all can see. All right. I'll stir it up. Then I'm going to put the top on. When you put the top on, it kind of keeps the heat in there. So it kind of cooks a little bit faster. So you all can see it's going from kind of translucent to a little bit pasty white. I know y'all like the close up. We are not done yet. I'm just showing you guys this. So let's put the top on it and I'll go ahead and um, preheat the oven to 365, okay? So step number one said preheat the oven to 365 degrees, okay? What are y'all talking about? Christina says it's interesting. I know that's one word for it. I'm a little bit nervous. EKNL says, I'm still confused on how all this is going to turn out. You and me both. I don't know. Y'all, I see these crazy like TikTok and Instagram recipes. And I'm either brave enough or dumb enough to try it with y'all. There's a part of me that's like, I don't know about y'all. You ever try making something and you're like, why didn't mine turn out? So I like to follow exactly how they did it and then see if we get the same thing. Uh, Christina says, pour a beverage. You want me to start drinking already? Shout out to Al uh, the Alkaline water. I'll get some water. Always check to make sure it's empty because I use it for storage. All right, let's turn this on. Eight, three, six, five. Start. And I'll turn on the light. Turn on the light. Okay. Woo! It 
smells good. It just smells like chicken and salt. <laughs> Hello, um, Maureen. Come on, Maureen. Da, 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 oh, Maureen. I know it's Eileen. Allow me to have my musical outburst. Da, da, da. Come on, Maureen. All right, y'all. So I'm just breaking up the chicken so it doesn't have big clumps. And I wonder, see, this is how my mind goes. Hello, Jay. My mind goes like if it works with chicken breast, would it work with ground chicken? Would it work with ground beef? Would it work with ground pork? Would it work with ground turkey? I know, right? <laughs> Come on, Ivy. EKNL says, hopefully it's as good as banana bread. Sir, I doubt it. So banana bread, you are on Team Sweet. Tonight we are cooking for Team Savory, okay? So... It's coming together, but we want to make sure there's no pink left in there. So I'm going to put the top on. And then Christine says, uh, pour a drink. We're going to go with water because uh, Maggie, I went out last night again, y'all. No. All right, let's get some water. All right. I always say, ladies, make sure you drink in a glass. It's more elegant. Don't toss back the bottle or can or whatnot if you can help it. It's much more elegant. You can get these from the dollar store, stemless wine glass, small silent sips. All right. Hello, Sir Orange Man. So I've got my Alcazone water. I keep it here to insult me. Plus, Alcazone was very generous to send me this big old bottle. This is just filtered water from the fridge. My metabolic specialist said drink more water, drink more water. I'm always drinking water. But my test results were like, you need to drink more water. Turns out I was drinking the wrong kind of water. I was supposed to drink alkaline water. All right. So you can buy alkaline water in the bottle. In my opinion, it's expensive and it's heavy. I'm not doing that. You can also make your own. So Alkazone drops, you can get these and make your own beverages more alkaline. Water, coffee, tea, three drops colorless and tasteless. Put it in your tea, your juice, your coffee, your smoothies, whatnot. For me, it helps me stay hydrated and it's better for my body. Woo! Do what works for you. Okay, so let's take a sip. Yeah, Christina's got to drink a lot. Well, lots of water, absolutely. Jaleel says water is the most important thing to drink. Y'all already know. Stay hydrated. In all seriousness, y'all, I know I'm in the South, but I'm wearing a sweater. That's why I put the apron on. But, um, you know, the weather's changing, we're ashy, hair's dry, everything. So stay hydrated. All right, I think we're really good here. Let me just scrape the spatula because y'all know we don't waste. Groceries are expensive. So we'll just give it one little stir. Taste for salt. And then I'm gonna take it off the heat. Y'all can see here, very lean, not much oil at all, all right? So I'm actually going to turn. All right, let me get a tasting spoon. Just break up any clumps. And we'll just taste it for salt. Again, that was just one pound of chicken breast. That's why it's white. It's lean meat. I prefer dark meat, but it's not my recipe. We got Sage Page in the house. I got something for you. It's over there. When we get the chicken bread. In the oven, we'll talk cookbooks, y'all. All right, so let's give this a taste. So far, we just have ground chicken with a little bit of salt. I know y'all like the close-ups, all right? <laughs> Looks like popcorn to me. All right, let's give this just a little taste. My mom says, taste as you go. Don't ever serve anyone something you haven't tasted as long as it's not raw. Mmm, good. Why did I do that? I don't know. All right. So I'm going to, this needs to cool. So I'm going to take it out of the skillet. Let me put it on, I want to put it in a cold dish, like just transfer it so it's not staying uh, hot. All right. Just a pie plate because you want your ground chicken 
to cool. The recipe says like five to 10 minutes. And I'll go back to playing so y'all can see. And then I'll be cleaning this up. Cool for a little. And then um, I'll meet you back at the blender because this is gonna get mixed up. Okay, so the first thing we are gonna need to do is add in our chicken. So I'm just gonna add in my chicken right into the blender. All right. And With the magic of television, hers is already cooled. If y'all are new here, I cook live. One, I'm not preparing anything in advance. I do, I do do some videos, but still, it's me cooking live, just looking at the pots. Um, you know, and I can edit a little bit, but I'm just not trying to do that. And y'all know we don't waste over here, so I'm gonna go scrape these little chicken bits in there. Ah, we got a stream sponsor tonight, E Capone. He says, Maggie and chat, what it do? E Capone is coming on the cruise. All right, so you see our chickens over here cooling off. Cool it down. I'm just gonna move it around a little bit, get some of that heat off. Uh oh. And I'm flinging it around. All right. Let it do its thing. Oh, I hate to waste. All right. So, y'all see it doing its thing over there. Let me get Eve Capone on the board. E. Capone is a stream sponsor. The stream sponsor is the person who gives the biggest cash app, PayPal, Venmo, Facebook stars, Instagram gifts, Twitter tips, gold coins. I'm just happy that you're here. Hello, Ish. Thank you so much for being here. Um, so thank you very much. All right. Mom says clean as you go. So let me just rinse this out and then we'll move on to the next steps while our chicken is cooling and I get E. Capone up on the board. All right, and our oven is preheating. It'll sing songs when it gets at temperature. So one moment. And happy Tuesday. I'm glad y'all are here. I love cooking for you. Oh, <laughs> cool it now. You're gonna lose control. Cool it now. Mm. Ooh, watch out. All right. All right, so I am going to remove the, the cooktop or the hot plate. Hello, uh, Onye. Um, and then I'm gonna bring the blender over because the next steps we're gonna actually blend. All right, so the cooking part is done. I do have another little hack that I saw online while our chicken is cooling. I'm gonna show y'all. All right, let me get Ika Paul on the board. Here's your chicken. It's still a little bit warm. It's not as smoky. It's not steaming a little bit. So leave that there. All right, where are you? All right, Woo! hot over there by that oven. Y'all know if this works, I'm gonna make it again, but I'm gonna make it in the air fryer, okay? So let me show you guys. Let me take another sip. Oh, and ladies, etiquette tip. If you get lipstick on the glass, continue to drink from the same spot. It's poor etiquette to expose others to your makeup, okay? For more tips like that, Come join us at the Finishing School for the Modern Woman. Lucy and I have our flagship course. Enrollment is open. We are currently in session. Next session starts in January. If you know any ladies who are interested in femininity, elegance, and etiquette, I would love to teach you what I've learned. Okay, let me show you all this little hack that I saw. I'm going to get the baking loaf, uh, loaf pan ready, all right? So this is the bread pan that I'm going to cook in. So it's just like an aluminum pan. And you know, usually you would like grease something, something like this. The recipe calls for parchment paper and you'll see her pour hers into the parchment paper. And y'all know I'm always struggling. Okay, first of all, it's outside of the roll. It's already janky, but look, I struggle. Okay, I ripped into it like a wild person. That is not elegant. So usually what I do is like I stuff it in there and it pops back up. It's all kind of stuff. But something came up on my feed. Let's see if it works. I'm always doing the most with y'all. 
our oven is ready. See what I mean? Okay, so hopping over to Instagram for a second. Y'all know I use my saved folder for all kind of stuff that comes up in my feed. All right. So I saw this, y'all. Check this out. Go to my recipe folder. This lady was doing a reaction to a kitchen a kitchen hack. Hello, Black. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, y'all may not care, but if this works, this is amazing. We're gonna take this parchment paper and fold it over the back of the loaf pan, crease the sides, and then see if it fits right in. OMG. All right, so let me leave that here, turn the sound down. Whoa. Here, here. All right, went to the, let's keep this here. And then we will move on to the next step. It's these little things, y'all. Okay, let me turn the sound off. So I'm gonna take some parchment paper and parchment paper has been treated with silicone. Yes, with silicone. So it's great for nonstick for baking. Okay, so usually, You get your silicone, and y'all see me like greasing it down and all that. So if you kind of put it in, it pops up. That's my struggle, all right? So let's see if I can do this. Aries One says, I'm going to share this recipe with my oldest sister who is not on social media. Absolutely. YouTube is free. You do not have to have an account. You can just go to YouTube and find MaggieTheSubstituteTeacher.com. Y'all can watch from the clouds. We have regulars who ninja watch. I love uh, sharing with you all, so happy to um, to share with anyone, whether you're in the chat or not. I just appreciate you being here. Sheila says, hello, beautiful queen. You are too kind. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Wanna be natural says, hi. All right, so what do we do? We're gonna put the paper over here. We're going to fold down the side. All right, then we're gonna come to this side. And we're gonna like like wrapping paper, right? It's almost that time of year. Kind of pinch the sides, and then we're going to fold, kind of crease, fold, kind of crease. My parchment papers, I got some overhang going on, so I'm having a little bit of a struggle, but that's okay. And let's come over to this side. <laughs> it's already bucking. All right. Go flat, pinch the sides. All right, y'all. So let's see. I think if my parchment paper were smaller, All right, look. All right, that's just what we're gonna do. I am gonna grease the bottom. We got Geneva Madison in the house. She says, hello, Maggie. Hello, dear. I'm gonna put a little avocado oil in the bottom. That's usually my hack for parchment paper. It works like a little bit of a glue. So you put it on the surface that's not going to touch the food. And then I'm just gonna get like a pastry brush. And I'm literally just gonna grease the sides here so it just helps the parchment to stick all right i don't know if y'all can see that but it's like a little adhesive struggle cooking already you know all right, so let's leave this here. I think our chicken is nice and cool. It's a little bit warm in my hand, but getting it out of the pot and getting it off of the stove really helped, okay? So, <laughs> y'all already know. All right, so now we're gonna go back over to our video. And what is next? Let's go to the recipe. 
All right. So we did number one and number two. It says in a blender, add your cooked chicken, eggs, Parmesan, baking powder, and any additional seasonings. All right. So let's go and get the blender. I'm gonna use my Instapot blender because the other one's dirty. <laughs> I gotta wash it. It's in the dishwasher. All right. So we got a blender here. Let's watch how she does it. And I know it sounds kind of like it seems kind of weird, but I kept saying this is kind of like think of it as chicken crust pizza. Like pizza bread, like the dough, can be replaced by chicken crust, and I actually love it. So that's one of the reasons why I was like, you know what, we're gonna give this a try. Like I love chicken. I love chicken crust pizza. We're gonna see what this chicken bread is all about. <laughs> We're gonna do our all right. eggs, all of these. And so then, let's get our no chicken in here. There's no carbs. Super, super clean. So we have, okay, we have our chicken, our egg. We're gonna do some. All right, let me get to that point. Going in with the chicken. Oh, Sage says, congratulations on the cookbook. Thank you. We will talk all about the cookbook. I wanna get this chicken bread in the oven. And then while it's baking, I'll show y'all the cookbook. One person requested it, so I have to save one. But if you all want a Maggie cookbook, I will be happy to autograph and ship it to you. It's also available as a digital download. I've had it for a while. I had it since before I went to London, but it's always just been an ebook. But someone requested a an autograph personal copy and so I just ordered several and I was like well maybe some other people might want it and look at y'all okay so we got the chicken in there let me rinse out all right now we're gonna add the eggs and I believe it's five eggs yes five large eggs so in here, so far, just chicken. Ah, Natay said, man, y'all are coming through with the cookbook. Uh, autographed and shipped, it's $35. $35, that includes everything. All right. So, so I can... Um, hopefully talk without messing this up. But yeah, um, for those of you all that are new, some of my day ones will know, I'm pretty active on my um, YouTube community tab, um, community tab post, community post tab. Y'all know what I mean. Anyway, you would like one? Aw, thank you all so much. Um, and several months ago, cause I had, you know, I went to London for a big collab and I wanted to have a cookbook cause you know, I didn't want to be like, here I am for this cooking show and I don't have my own cookbook. So I put a poll and asked you all, uh, Christian says prayers, the interview went well. Thank you, I appreciate that, but they did end up selecting the internal candidate. So I'm still, I was a little bit bummed, but I appreciate you asking. Um, that means something better is coming. Hello, T Timmons. Okay, five eggs and a pound of chicken. All right. And then I think this is where she puts the, um, oh, the Parmesan. We got to put the Parmesan in there. This is making me think of like our chaffle, like eggs and cheese. Um, how much Parmesan? Half a cup of Parmesan. I don't know if I have like half a cup. Let's see what we can get from our um, Pecorino Romano. All right. So I'm going to try and use all of this and I may have to substitute. I'm going to try and keep it dairy free. Let's pour it over here. Oops. <laughs> it's always something, y'all. All right. We've got, I need to add a little bit more. Let's see what I can find. So we got Parmesan substitute. That's how I keep it dairy free. <sighs> I missed the blender, so I got a mess. Okay. Um, we're going to get all that up. 
Oh, thank you. Christian says exactly what I was going to say. You were the type. Perfect position is on the way. I received that. Thank you. But yeah, y'all know I work in tech. And so there's, um, <laughs> there's always something, especially in a city like Atlanta. Okay. Um, I'm just going to grab some of the kids Parmesan just to put a little bit in here. I wish I could say it was 100% dairy free, but I want to, you know, get the right amount of cheese. Uh, oh, yes, absolutely. Absolutely. And send me a shipping address. Let me grab the uh, Parmesan. Let me just check and see. Do I have any more pecorino? I never know what I have back here. I got cottage cheese, blueberries, tofu, pumpkins, uh, goat's cheese. No. Oh. Okay. Let me get some of the kids. One second. So I'm going to use a little bit of the, the craft because I, I was short a little half a cup. So it's not going to be all the way dairy free, but all right. So we got some Pecorino Romano and some Parmesan Romano. And then I think she puts onion powder and garlic powder. So let me grab that. Um, but, 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 but garlic powder and where is the onion powder? Chopped onions, no garlic powder, onion powder. Okay. You could probably do whatever seasonings. It does say seasonings of choice. Hello, Olympia Muscle. So we're going to do onion powder and garlic powder. And I think this is going to go really well with the, um, the special butter that we have. All right. So let's see if she has an amount. Um, parm. Okay. A little Parmesan cheese. And now to give it that rise, we are gonna do some baking powder. I forgot that, baking powder. So it'll be fluffy. Two teaspoons of baking powder. Almost forgot that. Okay. And again, you'll see baking powder in a lot of low carb recipes for the fluffiness, but this is a zero calorie ingredient. So we're gonna put two teaspoons, just shaking off the excess, make it level. All right. Two teaspoons of baking powder, making sure everyone can see. I'm a senior BA. I'm a senior business analyst, Sage Page. Thank you. If you want my resume, I'll send it to you. Ah, the condemned is here. Oh, the Parmesan substitute, Pecorino Romano is sheep's milk. So here's the label if you want a screenshot. Locatelli, and here's the ingredient list. I don't know if you can see, oh goodness, right here, sheep's milk. So if you want a dry, salty, aged cheese, you can get this. It's a great substitute for Parmesan. Um, you'll get it in the deli, not in the back where like the craft cheeses are. You'll get it in the front where the meats are, like the deli meats. Hello, I imagine. Thank you all. All right, we did the baking powder. Let's see what else. Get this out of the way, blend this up, get it in the oven, and we're gonna see what this bread loaf looks like when it turns, once it comes out, okay? Okay, so our big blender did not work. Just some, you know, technical difficulties with this guy. So let's go ahead and mix this up. I must have missed where she did onion powder and garlic powder, but all right, I think we're ready to blend. Right, so first batch is done. Now. All right, so this is what we have. Chicken, eggs, baking powder, Parmesan, garlic powder, onion powder. Okay. Ah, you've never seen sheep's cheese. Yeah, absolutely. It's, I'm new, it's new to me too. That's what I do, y'all. I experiment with everything. I actually like it. If you like a dry, salty cheese, hello, Raven. All right, so let's turn this on, blend. 
ears. If it's too loud for you, here's your warning. All right. So to me, it looks like creamy. It smells very savory, but this is the texture. All right. So let me get a spoon so y'all can see. I'm not going to taste it, but just to show you all the texture, and then we're going to pour it in the loaf pan, get it cooking, and then we will do all things cookbook. All right. You all can see kind of looks like, looks like cornbread batter. That's what it looks like to me. All right. So let's move this. All right. And then just so it doesn't stick, optional, I'm just going to brush a little bit of the um, leftover avocado oil on the silicone parchment paper, just so it'll peel off nicely. Optional, but just a little extra insurance. All right. Got it greased up. We got one egg still here. All right, now let me get a spatula. Um, spoon. All right, let's pour our bread in here. <laughs> this is hilarious. All right, wanna get up all up in there, man. This, uh, what you call it, is heavy duty. Whew. You gotta hold it like a, <laughs> all right. It's like heavy glass. But this Instapot, it's like a blender that cooks, like you could put ingredients in here and it'll cook them and then blend them. Like it makes soup. This was a gift. I think when I worked at Coke, I can't remember. Y'all know those uh, anniversary gifts after five, 10 years, they give you a catalog and you can pick what you want. I'm always getting kitchen gadgets. Hello, Claus B. Lucy, Lucy in the sky with diamonds. All right, we'll talk about what Lucy and I are up to. All right, I got most of it. All right, so this is our bread. Y'all can see the jiggly texture. This is gonna go in, I think she says like 20 minutes, but. So this is what I'm gonna cook my bread loaf in. Just to be safe, I'm gonna add a little bit of parchment. Oh, so it's for a little avocado oil. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay, so this is going in for about 20 minutes, 365 minutes. But let's see, I cannot wait to cut into this and see how our bread loaf turns out. So I'm going to make myself a little oven toast. Okay, so 20 minutes. I'm going to set the timer for 20 minutes. All right. Sorry, y'all. Now we're going to talk all things cookbook. Uh, hello, Claus. We got Lucy. We got Young. Zeus, we got XB, we got Mo. I'm going to answer y'all's questions. I'll drop the link in case anybody wants to chat. I just wanted to get to a baking point because y'all know I don't long stroke, but I will slow cook you. All right. So let's just clean up because we're going to bring the beautiful uh, cookbooks here. Let me just give this a rinse and um, I'll show you guys what I got. And if this works, I'm thinking, man, we could do like, waffles may be a bit much, but pizza crust, sandwich bread, like a high protein, low carb or zero carb, really like sandwich bread substitute, all kinds of stuff, y'all. Okay. Let's 
put our seasonings away. I'm saving this egg. Let me throw away the eggshells. She said avocado toast with egg and some avocado. That would be a whole meal, a whole high protein meal. All right, so where were we? Y'all have been asking about this cookbook. I am so excited that y'all are excited. So the cookbook is available right now as a digital download. You can go to teachablemomentswithmaggie.com. I'm gonna wipe the counter and everything. Um, you can go to teachablemomentswithmaggie.com. I have had the cookbook available since March. I just don't really uh, talk about it much. I got a lot going on, <laughs> but good stuff. But I just don't wanna be like, don't forget the aprons, don't forget the cookbook, don't forget the courses, don't forget the, the um, consults. Hello, Southern slang, shout out to the South and hello, best hits. Okay. So back in the spring, for those of y'all that were with me, and as you can see, I stream every day. So I'm always cooking something. And there were some that, uh, some things that some of y'all wanted um, in a cookbook. Everything I do is a response to y'all asking, Maggie, you should come up with a course. Maggie, shout out to Luke Casey. You should come up with a cookbook, Maggie. So I try, one of me, like 40,000 of y'all, that's 65,000 total. So I put together a poll on um, my YouTube community tab asking you guys which recipes should be in the cookbook. And you all voted your favorite recipes and that's what I put together. So let me wash my hands and I'll show it to you. So. I just thought with this new technology age, everybody would just want an ebook. But like I said, someone requested an autograph, you know, actual book. So this one's going out to Sage Page. This one's going out to Marie Marie. In the finishing school that we have, we make. Um, workbooks for our students. Again, we had like digital workbooks, but if you um, take classes with Lucy and me, you will actually get your own like journal shipped to you so you can take notes because each class we customize it for our students. Excuse me. So I decided to make a very nice Maggie cookbook. So you all can see here, hopefully you all can see. So let's do a little um, view. It has the comb bound or binding on the side. It has a clear, whatever this, a clear cover. And then it has a black vinyl. Okay. So, you know, for little wipes and spills in the kitchen, shout out to 10 plus sounds for the artwork. <laughs> kind of looks like Maggie. I think so. Hello, Aja. Thank you so much for being here. Okay. So, I did get, I don't know if you all can tell, but I got like really good quality, like card stock. So it's not flimsy paper. And I got like, I don't know if this is matte or glossy. I think it's glossy. Y'all can see there. So a little bit about Maggie, then uh, whoever wants one, I just write a little personal note for you here and sign it. And then I put like a sheet of paper so that it doesn't bleed over. So a little bit about Maggie. And I did it one-sided, okay? So I did it intentionally. That way, if you want to fold it under, you absolutely can do that. Y'all know I've been on a health and wellness journey so far down 80 pounds. I still have at least 20 more to go, but I've come a long way. <laughs> Sage says, yes, I'm so excited. I'm coming to the comments, y'all. So you will see. Um, so I have it broken up in chapters, okay? So I have breakfast recipes, and you all know I'm sugar-free, dairy-free, and gluten-free. And all of these pictures came from me actually making it, okay? Y'all know how I do after I cook it. I take a picture of it, and that's what I post up. Because I tell y'all, my channel started with me just cooking privately, and then people would say, did you make that? Yes, I made that. So that's why I started um, 
streaming so you all can see me make it. But these are, I don't know what kind of pancakes they are, but that, that looks beautiful. So we have breakfast recipes, the Maggie cakes, banana pancakes, chaffles. Now here's the thing, and this is the reason why I was kind of hesitant to make an actual book, but y'all asked for it, so here we go. On each recipe, you have the actual ingredients, you have the instructions, then you have a picture of when I made it. And then on the ebook, this is actually the YouTube video. This is like a clickable link and it takes you to the video, pumpkin, low carb pumpkin spice waffles. Shout out to the fall. Ah, Lucy says the pics look great. Thank you. Oh, and our students, if you enroll in the finishing school for the modern woman, one of the bonuses that you get, because I do believe you need a cookbook, you get um, a cookbook included, an ebook. So on the digital version, if you go to teachablemomentswithmaggie.com and you get the ebook, all of them have a video. So it's an interactive cookbook. Cause I was like, you know, I'm old, y'all are young. I thought y'all would want like, you know, new technology, but um, y'all wanted uh, actual uh, cookbook. So you all can see here uh, what it is and you know all the different recipes and then chapter two snacks and then I think I have meals and then I have desserts. Yeah, meals and then desserts. This was my birthday cake last year. For any of y'all that were with me, I streamed on my actual birthday and I made this three layer sugar-free, dairy-free, gluten-free cake with berries and whipped cream, dairy-free whipped cream, almond flour cake. So all of this is um, me. So yes, this is the Maggie cookbook. So um, I think it's $20. If you just want the digital download, you can get that instantly. If you want the actual cookbook, <laughs> this is what I got. Um, you can either cash app, PayPal, Venmo, $35. Um, you get a cookbook. I will autograph it to whoever you want me to and write a nice little note because I appreciate y'all so much. And um, I will ship it and send you the tracking and it'll go out same day. All right, hello, Lily. All right, so let's see. I'm gonna go back in the comments. We've got 11 minutes on bread. So I've got a little bit of time here. I can take y'all's questions. I'm gonna go ahead and give you the commercials so you all know what's going on, how I can serve you, uh, take your feedback while I'm not completely distracted. And then when the bread comes out, we'll slice it and see what we got. The Condemned says, am I dreaming or is this actual chicken bread gluten-free? Yes, this is not low carb. This is no carb, okay? So for those of y'all who came in late, I saw this recipe come up on my stream, on my feed. Low carb love made a zero carb chicken bread loaf, okay? So we got it in the oven. This is what we are cooking. And we will see how it comes together. I'm excited and nervous, <laughs> all right? Uh, Christina said, yes, congratulations. Thank you all so much. So. Um, the hard copy or the actual printed books are new. It is kind of nice to see, but um, and you all can ask for this at any time if you want me to, to do it for you. I just, um, I've had it as a digital download, but it is kind of nice. It is kind of nice to have a cookbook. Okay, so one of you wants a cookbook? Absolutely. Um, just um, inbox me either Facebook or Instagram, I'm Maggie the Substitute Teacher on all platforms, or Maggie the Substitute Teacher at gmail.com. And um, I'll be sitting up tonight doing these because I don't think they're gonna last. I need to save one for the original person who asked for it. Uh, you know who you are. And um, the rest, you know, happy to ship out. So Nate asked, how much is the cookbook? You would love an autographed one. Yep. So $35 includes the cookbook, includes the shipping, includes, um, you know, shipping with tracking, not just a stamp. I sent the tea bags out with the stamp, y'all, because that but this you will actually get tracking. Um, and cookbook, autograph, and shipping. Yeah, absolutely. So it'll come to you like this. So I'm having fun with it. Nate says, I got you. Can I cash app? Yeah, absolutely. So 
If you cash at me, just let me know. I usually turn my devices down. Okay, EKNL asked about the Parmesan substitute, Pecorino Romano. So that is my sheep's milk cheese. It's wonderful. If you like Latin flavor, shout out to Christina, team balsamic, but sprinkle it on pizza, put it on eggs, however you would use Parmesan. Pecorino Romano is my dairy-free substitute. Yeah, so the goat's milk, I do use goat's milk a lot in three different forms, but not in Pecorino Romano. So, oh. I'm your substitute queen here. I started with the goat's milk, um, like the soft spreadable cheese. This is what I use as a cream cheese substitute. Now the goat's milk does have an acquired taste. It's like, um, it's a little strong, but if you like sour cream, if you like blue cheese, it's got a little tang to it. Uh, you can also get this in your deli. You can get it regular. You can also get flavored like cranberry, blueberry, whatnot. So I use goat's cheese as a substitute for cream cheese. You can get it soft and spreadable like that. You can also get the melting cheese. We did an unboxing of the Natural Valley, Monterey Jack, cheddar, Colby, whatnot. So you'll have to either shred or slice this. Shout out to the cheese slicer. But this is another dairy-free option that I use. Um, creamy or melting. I have not seen uh, goat's cheese like in a grated. Maybe they have it, but I haven't seen it. Hello, Danny Lopez. Thank you so much for being here. All right. Yes, yeah, Sage Page says, I didn't know you were in tech. What part of tech are you in? So I am actually a senior business analyst. Um, I don't really talk about work because this is my happy place, but I have a bachelor's degree in chemistry, immigrant family, wanted me to be a doctor, but I'm not built for that. But I do love STEM. So I have a chemistry degree and then I have a business degree. I have an MBA in technology management and I am a certified business analyst. So I work as a liaison between business people and tech people. So a lot of people are like, you're not a real teacher. I know. I know. I'm just your substitute teacher. So it's a play on the cooking substitutes. And um, yeah. Um, uh, so for anyone who doesn't know, a company reached out to me. They found me online and asked me to interview for a position I was very excited about. Um, but they did tell me they had an internal candidate, but they just wanted to see everything. And I went through five rounds of interviews. So last week was kind of rough, y'all. <laughs> and then they decided to go with the internal candidate after all that. So, you know, sometimes you can, you can let... You can let your mind go into the, were they going to go with the internet, can't, internet with the internal candidate all along? And it was just like checking the box after I've studied them and learned it. But you know what? Something better is coming. I am excited. So I also um, have helped people with their LinkedIn, their resume, you know, being in tech. You know, stuff moves all the time. I've got over 20 years of corporate experience. I've been corporate since college, former Coca-Cola executive. So I've hired, I've had to let people go, all of that. So if you ever want to talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, as you can see in the ticker, uh, for a limited time, I am doing free consults, free 15-minute consults. So you can see if it's a good fit. If you've got a question that you want to ask me privately offline about anything that I do that uh, hopefully I can serve you with. And then um, if you're interested in continuing, it's completely optional, but I do consults. Um, I'm very passionate about the older women teaching the young, but I'll help anyone. Um, I do consults. You can either book 30 minutes, one hour, 90 minutes, or I also now have an unlimited membership. And it's only $50 a month, but basically you get access to me whenever you need it. Um, and you know, ladies who are on their relationship journey or femininity journey, or sometimes I'll do one-on-one -on -one cooking classes just like this, not as a stream to help people uh, who wanna cook. So if there's anything you think I can help you with, um, you can always try it for free. And I think the membership cancel anytime you get a seven day free trial. And um, you know, we can talk about whatever you like. It could be tech stuff as well. EKNL says, wow, sheep's milk. I'll have to see if that's anywhere nearby. Yeah, so the Pecorino Romano, 
I've gotten that at Publix. I'm in the South, so we have Publix, and I don't know if I've seen it at Kroger. Your nicer grocery stores will have some of these products. And honestly, y'all, that's you know part of the struggle when you want to eat a different kind of diet. Everybody doesn't carry everything. So part of what I do is share some of this stuff with you all. Here's another hack that I learned online that might be helpful for you. I have an Instacart subscription. Instacart is a grocery delivery service. Y'all know I love it. But you don't have to have an Instacart subscription. You can use Instacart because they partnered with the grocery stores around you. And you can just go to like instacart.com and put in goat's cheese. And then it'll show you all the stores in your area that carry it. So you don't have to, you don't have to place an order. Uh, if you do, I got a discount code for you in the class notes, teachable moments with Maggie.com. But if you're looking for a particular ingredient, that way you don't have to like drive all around. And oftentimes these substitute ingredients that I use, they don't have large quantities. So one of the things that I'll do uh, if the store is sold out, if it's something that I know I'm going to use a lot, like goat's cheese or sheep's cheese, I'll buy online. They'll ship it on ice if you buy like four or five or six. And for me, that's great because um you know that way i know i'm gonna have it in stock so you can give that a try last little hack you can go to um the website of the manufacturer so for example this one is natural valley so what i used to do and i still do sometimes i will just google like natural valley and that's where it came up pasture pride uh, is the brand and a lot of the websites will have something called a store locator so if you're looking for a particular item um, go to Craft's website. Where can you get this? Go to Craft's website, put in your zip code on the store locator, and then it'll tell you what stores in your area carry particular ingredients. And that's good to know. So if you want to experiment with something, those are a couple hacks that I've done. Ah, EKNL says, we do have goat's cheese here a lot. I've never seen any sheep stuff. Yeah, let me know if you find it. Let me know, EKNL, if you don't mind sharing what major city you're close to, uh, I may know a chain, you know, if you want to. EKNL says, Jiffy Blueberry. Y'all, I got so many blueberries in the giveaway box. We are going to be making some blueberries. Uh, I saw a blueberry tart, a blueberry pancake casserole. What you, I want to make some blueberry syrup, or if y'all say syrup, I don't know. Let me know what y'all want me to make with blueberries because I got a whole refrigerator full. Sage says, that's cool. Lou Casey says, I love her. She's amazing with the keto stuff. Yeah, low carb love. She's another one, y'all. She has lost 100 pounds. Y'all know I'm on my journey. I'm down 80. I got at least 20 more to go, but she's another one. She's lost 100 pounds. And so uh, her cooking channel uh, is one that I follow because I get inspiration from everywhere. But yeah, lots of low carb recipes. So this is where I saw the chicken bread. And I've just paused it. Actually, I'm gonna, she's gonna make a little vitamin. I'm just gonna let that keep going with no sound until we're ready to get the chicken bread out. All right, we're down to 30 seconds, y'all. Hold up. Let's see, did I miss anything? EKNL says, dang, I definitely missed that. But if this bread loaf thingy works, chicken and waffles all in one night might become an actual thing. I know, right? All right, she's taking her vitamins. Diwali and Sense is here. Yes, welcome to class. So happy to hear you. Geneva says, I didn't know you made a cookbook. Yeah, y'all. I got a lot going on. I have so many ideas and I love sharing them with you all. So my apologies, but the cookbook is available now as a digital download. But again, I have very limited um, printed copies, comb, be, uh, comb bound, clear cover, vinyl back with, you know. Okay, y'all, our timer. Let's check, I'm nervous. Okay, hold on, and hers has come out. Focus, Maggie, oh, okay. Let's move the merchandise. We don't wanna mess anything up. Okay. Good grief, stressing me out. All right, y'all, we're gonna take this chicken bread out. Let's see what she says. OMG, look at this little beauty. Guys, we have bread. This right here looks like real bread. This smells, oh my gosh. I'm getting excited. <laughs> I'm getting excited. I was a little like, mm, I didn't know how this was gonna. Okay, we're not done. I'm gonna take it out so y'all can see. But here's the thing. You heard her say 20 minutes on the recipe. It says 30 to 35 minutes. All right, so it's, um, it's not done yet, y'all. 
it's still, you notice how hers was like nice and golden brown. So I'm gonna leave it in there. I turned the timer off, but it's not done yet. All right, so I'm gonna keep answering questions. Um, counter is still clean, but we're gonna give it about 10 more minutes. But yeah, so the cookbook is available, digital download. Thank y'all for the hearts. Digital download immediately. It's an interactive cookbook. If you want digital, each recipe has the YouTube video. You can click on it and it's me actually making it, or you can follow the instructions. Or if you want this limited edition Maggie cookbook. I laughed. I had an, uh, an artist design it, but I'm, every time I'm like, it looks like me. <laughs> Forgive me y'all, it's the little things. Hello, I am the clay. Thank you so much. Elena wants blueberry scones. Okay, I have almond flour because uh, everything I make, I'm going to make it sugar-free, dairy-free, and glu uh, gluten-free. So I think low-carb love, I think she has a scones recipe, y'all. Let's see. We got a few minutes. Let me just check. Y'all want blueberry scones? I'm not much of a baker. I'm a little intimidated by it, but I'll try for y'all. Ah, she has blueberry scones. So... All right, maybe tomorrow, we'll see. Um, in the afternoon streams, I try to do like shorter recipes, but this will be coming up. Let's see, do I have the ingredients? Almond flour, coconut flour, I'll have to look. Alia sweetener, baking powder, almond milk, avocado oil, eggs, vanilla, and blueberries. Okay, I'll give it a try. I'll give it a try. Inbox me, because I'll forget, Elena. Inbox me on TikTok, remind me y'all, because I will forget. I'll sit down and start shipping out these. I'm like, what? What did they ask me to make? All right. What else you guys got going on? All right. Oh my gosh, I'm behind y'all. Sage Page says, yes, I'm so excited. Thank you, Maggie. You're welcome, my dear. Let me know your baby's name because I need to autograph it. I know it's a gift for your daughter. Hopefully she's not watching. Hopefully I didn't mess it up. Let me know who to autograph it for. Who Casey says the pictures look great. Thank you. Thank you, y'all. This is just me in the kitchen. But yeah. And I did, ooh, I have a snack recipe. Y'all, check me out. There's a little mess up there. I should have taken that line off. But I'm glad y'all like it. This makes me happy. I didn't think anybody would care. We got Lily in the house. She says, hey, y'all. Lily says the cookbooks look great. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. Thank you, Elena. Wow, y'all. I need to... Keep these on hand, I guess. I didn't, I just, you know, y'all, there's a part of me that's like, I'm not a real chef. I just got this janky cooking show. I still don't know why y'all tune in. I'm like, who am I to make a cookbook? But somebody asked. So anyway, I'm grateful. Let me be grateful. Sage Page says, Maggie, the, books looks, the book looks amazing. Oh my gosh. So those of y'all that are getting cookbooks, let me know, um, you know, any feedback that you have, um, you know, so it's, it's sturdy, but it's not hardback. And I did this binding so you all could, you know, fold it up and it's nice, glossy. Um, the person who requested this, I was like, okay, how do you want it? Like hardback or soft, whatever you want. I'm like, oh God, I'm the indecisive one. Casually says, I've been looking at the low carb love website. So my man has a full belly while on his diet. Absolutely. Look, even though we need to eat healthy, y'all, I got a notification <laughs> from Royal Caribbean. It is now time to check in on your cruise. I was like, and that happens 45 days out. So I was like, because y'all, I am going to eat on this cruise. I'm telling you now. So I'm not doing anything drastic, but I'm like, look, enough fooling about. That's enough, Maggie. Um, so 45 days, six weeks. Um, Elena wants to order a cookbook. Um, inbox me the shipping address. They're $35, which includes the cookbook, uh, an autograph, and the shipping. Um, you can cash app, PayPal, or Venmo. Go to teachablemomentswithmaggie.com and you'll see how you can um, send it to me. And y'all, these are first come, first ship, okay? I need to save one for the person who requested, and I think I got six. I didn't think anybody would care, wow. But yeah, absolutely. So on the cruise, I'm gonna eat.
So I just want to get it a little bit tighter before I go. I have made rest. I have made reservations for a different restaurant every night of the cruise because I'm gonna be streaming and telling y'all for research purposes what I'm eating. We got Lisa the housewife. She says, "Hey everyone." Christina says, "I'm excited to see how this bread turns out." Let me look at the color. I don't want to open it. It still looks a little yellow to me. I feel like the temperature should be higher. She said 365. Thank you for liking it, Elena. I almost want to turn the temperature up to 375. What do y'all think? EKNL says, Matika, the drunken goat cheese is some of the best hard cheese I've ever had. If y'all have it nearby, check it out. Yes. The drunken goat's cheese, just so you all know, that is goat's cheese dipped in wine or soaked in wine. So it has like a blue uh, or purple like outer layer. If you like a good hard like cheese board cheese, it's excellent. I like the this cheese is drier. It's almost like chalky. So for the pancake substitutes, the Maggie cakes, which are in the cookbook, y'all voted on what's in here. It gives them like a, a drier cakey texture instead of a um, custardy texture, if that makes sense. Everybody's saying hello. She says, keep trucking, Maggie. Thank you, my dear. I am trying. We got so much going on. Let me tell y'all what's going on. Let's see. We talked about the cruise. You know about that. We talked about the finishing school. Lou Kaisley is in the chat. She and I are teaching class. We also have a weekly Wednesday Q&A. You can come ask us anything. We are two older women ready to give back. Maggie Mail. Sage Page knows about the Maggie Mail. If you want me to make anything and ship it to you, just scan this QR code. Let me know what you want. <laughs> Sage Page got her cinnamon rolls and made a short about it. So cute. Y'all, please check that out. We got the Elegance Boot Camp. This is going to be free for everyone coming up November 1 through November 30th. Lucy and I will be teaching out of the Woman of Elegance book, 30 days, 30 lessons on beginning your elegance journey. Hello, Detroit. Thank you for being here. Um, on Sunday, the day before that, hosting etiquette, October 29th, Lucy and I will be doing a private masterclass. So if you are interested, go ahead and reserve your seat. You can absolutely use this discount code for 10% off. If you're interested in being a great host, if you're interested in being a great guest, there are roles, right? Coming up on this time of year, we're going to be gathering in people's houses. Some of us like it. Hello, uh, I am Lonnie. Thank you for being here. Some of us get anxiety about it. If you want to know what's appropriate, what's not appropriate, we will be teaching that in the master class. So that will be a private 90 minute class. Um, you're welcome to come, but it will not be live streamed. Um, and then feminine movement. If you want to move like an elegant woman silently, if you want to know what to do with your arms, how to walk, how to sit. We have Sarah Badenova. She is coming. She is a champion ballroom dancer. She also has a course and she will be teaching us how to move like a feminine woman Saturday, October 28th. Use the same discount code if you guys are interested in um, embracing your feminine side. I'm very passionate about it. Hello, cornbread. This looked like cornbread to me. Let's see what else is going on over here. Oh. Oh, Sage Page says, what's for you is for you. Something better is in the pipeline. I received it. I received it. All right, y'all. Let's take a look at this cornbread, chicken bread. All right. I just been bumping my gums, wasting time. Mm -hmm. I'll show y'all, but I don't think it's, I think I'm gonna turn the temperature up. Look at hers. I really wanted to put it in the air fryer. I'm gonna go up to 375. It feels like it's kind of done. Let's do like five minutes at 375. Let's see if we can get it brown. I just want a nice crust on the top and then that's it. We're gonna cut into it, put some butter, some homemade butter on it and see how our chicken bread, cornbread turns out. <sighs> EKNL says, 
Yep, you just Google Pecorino Romano. The cheese definitely looks crumbly. Yes, if you all need a, if you can have this Parmesan, we all grew up on this stuff. Have some for me. This is from the kids' fridge. But if you need a non-dairy substitute, I love sharing with you all different options, okay? So we'll do like five more minutes. I just turned it up to 375. And then we'll take our chicken bread, cornbread out. <laughs> Jaleel says, is the chicken loaf still cooking in the oven? Yes. On the video, she said 20 minutes. In the recipe, it said 30 to 35. If we like this and I do it again, I'll do it in the air fryer. This is why I love the air fryer, especially when you're cooking small portions. It's smaller and it cooks faster because it doesn't have all that space. And um, the air fryer is an oven with a fan. So it blows hot air on your food. So it crisps up and browns more quickly. But this is, this is my first time doing it. So I'm like, okay, let me be like her and do it in the oven. So heating up my, <laughs> heating up my house. Hello, Mary and Tichi. Good to see you. All right. Christina says blueberry crepes. We could definitely make blueberry pancakes. Now I'm thinking now for the blueberry crepes, here's the thing, happy to make it, but just clarify for me. So crepes are very thin, almost like not paper thin, but you know what I mean? And then blueberries are kind of bumpy balls. So I'm wondering, like, are we going to have, should I cut them in half or just have the little mountain of blueberries in the crepes? Or are you talking about blend them in the batter and make the whole thing smooth and blue? So I just need some clarity because I got a lot of blueberries in there. We're going to do the scones. Sage Page is blueberry anything. I love it. Yeah, I want to do like a blueberry um, sauce. Drizzle that on everything. Y'all can make your own jams and stuff. Jam on it, jam. It ain't. It ain't too much. It ain't too much for me today to jam. It ain't. It ain't. Sorry. I just had to get that out. I'm sorry. Y'all know we go together now. I told y'all the musical outbursts are just going to keep coming. EKNL says, ha, I knew it. So what you're saying, Maggie, is that they be lying on these cooking shows. Do y'all think it's intentional? Do y'all really think it's intentional? Do you think she's just like, oh, yeah, put it in the oven for 20 minutes? And then you're like, oh, and then yours comes out looking underwhelming. I don't know if they're lying. I don't know, y'all. I'm not, I'm not going to say that. But, um, you know, coming up with a recipe is hard. Y'all see me in here. I just, you know, just be doing stuff. But to actually sit down and make like an actual recipe for y'all, it's a lot of work. <laughs> Jaleel says, I don't think they're lying. I just think they got it from another cooking show or the internet. And sometimes the internet would most likely lie to the people that are trying to learn how to cook it. Y'all are some conspiracists over here. I don't think they're lying. But that's why I cook everything uh, from scratch for y'all. I mean, some people have been like, <laughs> shout out to my mom. You know, Maggie, you can, you know, have some of this stuff ready in advance, but... Let's turn off the oven. Whatever it is, we're done. Turn off the timer. Oh, was that the timer? Or was that just telling me it got to 375, y'all? I don't know. Let me get these comments and we're going to take it out. It is what it is. Okay, y'all are just saying hello. Oh, wait, it didn't work that time. Almost worked. Uh, EK announced it's got to make sure the person is either still in the chat or their name. Okay, y'all are tagging each other. Okay, Sage Patience, OMG, I can't wait to see you taste it. All right, y'all. So let's move, move the merchandise, okay? Christina says just on top. All right, let me think about that because crepes, I have to flip them. And so if I just put blueberries on top, the underside will get smooth. And when I flip it, because of the little balls there, that it'll cook uneven. These are all the things I think about. We could make crepes and then drizzle it with the blueberry sauce that I'm going to make. We could do that. EK now says, ain't too much for me to jam. It ain't. Do not encourage me. And if you cruise with me, you will find me in a restaurant or on the dance floor. Aries one, you're down 15 pounds. 
That would be wonderful. Let's see what I can do in six weeks. Okay, Jaleel says, ooh, let's see. Okay, all right, y'all. We are. We have committed. We are taking it out. I'm at the bottom of the comments. Let's go. Shout out to Greece. <laughs> all right, let's turn this off. We are done. And turn off the lights. Turn off the lights. And eat some chicken bread. It is still not brown the way that I want, but we're about to cut into it, okay? We have committed. Maybe it's my oven. It started to brown a little bit. Now, it smells incredible. It smells very savory, teen savory. If you like that, what would be really good, we did onion powder and garlic powder. What would be really nice is like some rosemary or something like that. Let me get a... For our presentation, shout out to Coca-Cola. Let's get a cutting board. I'm going to lift it up and put it on the cutting board. All right, so it comes out. Ooh, all right, let's move this so I don't burn myself because this is hot. All right. So you all can see, and I'm gonna pull down we got a nice little color on the sides. It just didn't brown on top. All right. So I'm going to slide it off of the parchment paper. If you all can see. Can y'all see that? So it's steaming hot. <laughs> Make sure you don't. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's see what she does. I'm going to slide it off the parchment paper. We'll take a picture. Oh, there y'all are. We'll take a picture before I cut it, just in case it looks janky, and, we'll, and do a video, and then cut it and taste it, and we'll be done. I won't burn my tongue, right? Turn out. We're going to let it cool before I cut into it. Guys, what? Okay, so our loaf has cooled. I want to see the inside. Okay, this is, you know what it's giving me? Very, like, charcuterie board bread vibes. Like, if you're going to make a charcuterie board... You want to keep it super, super low carb. This right here is a great option. So let's pull a little piece out so you can see what this looks like. It definitely has like those air bubbles, which I love because um, usually with like low carb breads, it is super, super dense and I'm not getting it from this. To me, this, it looks really, really nice. I'm telling you like a little avocado on here. That's actually how I'm going to try it. Okay, so she left hers in the parchment paper in the pan. All right, so let me see. I feel like, all right. <laughs> so if y'all were with me in my last collab with Richard, we made homemade butter. All right, so we have some butter. All right, let me think this through. I'm going to take some pictures before I cut it. <laughs> so y'all are here to celebrate. All right, let's get the bread knife. Oh, mercy, it's the last one. Okay. So let's move my glass. All right. I'm nervous. Oh, wow. Zero carb bread? Yes. So it just came out. Zero carb chicken loaf, bre chicken bread loaf. Okay. Hello, A maker. All right, so let's take a picture and then we're going to cut into it and take another picture just in case it don't look good inside. <laughs> Will y'all keep my secrets? All right. I want to get some of that brown on the sides. I, I wish it were that brown on the top, but maybe if we had done 10 more minutes, but it will be all right. Get close up on your food. Some with the flash, some without. When y'all see, Maggie, did you make that? Yes, I made it. All right. Let me do one quick little video. Still warm. Woo. All right, so today we made the zero carb 
chicken bread loaf. This is the low carb love recipe with 100% ground chicken breast, eggs, onion powder, garlic powder, Parmesan cheese, Pecorino Romano, and salt. Let's cut into that. All right. So, all right, y'all. You're fashionably late. Aries one says you can put your feedback in an Instagram message. Yes, message me, y'all. If y'all, because I'm a, I'm gonna forget when I sit down to do these cookbooks, and I think there's only six left. I'm gonna forget who asked for what, and it's first come, first serve. Okay, I'm gonna cut this end. So if it falls over, it falls over onto the handle. <laughs> Y'all are so com committed with me. All right, I want mine to look like hers. So I'm gonna do some small slices. I would, I would have left it maybe like 10 more minutes, but it's definitely done. It's not wet. All right. Little uh, food styling. You like the honey goat's cheese? Christina says, how is it? All right. Let me take one more picture. Let me take one more video. Let me just stack these up and let me get a quick video while it's still steaming. And we're going to put some butter on it and taste it. All right. Let me see if I can catch the steam in the picture, y'all. It's these moments. All right. Let me get a quick video. All right, so we've cut into the chicken bread loaf. It's still steaming hot. And we are gonna give this a try. This is the zero carb bread with our homemade butter. Just chicken breast ground up with eggs, onion powder, garlic powder, pecorino romano, parmesan, and salt. Enjoy. All right, y'all have waited long enough. All right. Let me get a plate. Tanya says, looks good. Uh, Kim, oh, baking powder. See, y'all see how I forget. Looks like bread, I know, right? You know, does Maggie know the exact time she took it out without cheating use, using her future YouTube video for timing? I have no idea what that means. Let's get a plate, y'all. All right. Let's get some butter and I'm gonna go for the end piece. I'm gonna taste it first without butter, all right? So you all can see it does have that little crumb. Again, I would probably go a little bit longer, but let me just taste it, see how it kind of breaks. Wow. It tastes like bread with sausage inside. Especially this, I like this uh, darker piece. Inside, in 100% honesty, when I bite into it, it's got a little bit of moisture that comes out. It's very flavorful. It's almost like sausage juice, but you know, bread, 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 when you bite into it, it's dry. This is moist. So y'all know how I am team texture. So it's just a, getting your anticipation you know a little bit different christina says uh interesting eknl says laughing at me your smell of vision does stop working it smells very savory it smells i'm sorry y'all it smells like sausage it smells like you were cooking sausage in the morning not in a sweet mapley kind of way but in like a savory onion garlicky kind of way. Let's get in here with this butter. Y'all remember we made this butter. This was that garlic Parmesan pampered chef butter. So I am no longer dairy free, but we made this with the heavy whipping cream. 
let that melt down in there a little bit. And we're going to give it another taste. Put it in, that's what I, 375 for five minutes. Yeah, I would have gone a little bit longer. That probably would dry it out and give you that nice brown on the top that you have on the sides. All right, so this is melting. I'm melting. I'm so excited my mouth is watering. All right. Make sure everybody can see. Oh, ho, 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 mama! Now, I will say this. Wow. This is Team Sabre. <laughs> He can't help. Thank you for the $14.99. We got a new stream sponsor. He says, well, it was fun seeing Maggie make that face when she tasted by her cookbook. Thank you. Thank you all for supporting. I will say this. It is a very savory bread. Meaty. Meaty flavor with the texture of bread. So for a meal... Like with, like she says, with avocado and egg, making avocado toast, yes. If you want like a honey toast or like a croissant or any kind of flaky pastry, this is not that. This is a, like a dense, mm. seems like a kolache. I don't know what that is. <laughs> you did that. <laughs> Thank you. Let me get EKNL on the board and then we will dismiss. Hello, Jean Bean. Hello, Best Beat. I would definitely make it again. I probably would omit the onion powder and garlic powder. It's very, because in my mind, I'm like, okay, I could use this as a bread substitute but only for a savory bread substitute. You know, bread is usually kind of neutral, so you could do like honey butter toast or something like that. I don't think this would taste good with the honey butter, but like a pizza crust, like um, a mozzarella toast, anything like savory. Mm-hmm. Mm. All right, let's get EKNL, and then let me let y'all have your evening. Mm-mm-mm. So, we had fun tonight. <clears throat> I am going to let it cool and then pack it up. We'll see how it reheats in the morning. I think an avocado toast or a bacon, egg, and cheese or anything like really savory. Absolutely. Thank you, Aries One. Please put my cookbook to the side. Okay, did you inbox me? I'm gonna shut this down. I'm going to the table with my laptop. These are going out, all right? So if you want one, inbox me, the shipping address, who you want me to sign it to, and where to look for the payment, and I will respond back with your tracking, all right? Um, $14.99 from E, K, N, L. All right, everyone. Another one, another fun experience. What does she say? I mean, that's actually how I'm going to eat it, but I obviously want to taste it. I just want to let you know, like, texture, taste, all of that, okay? So, cheers. Mm. This is actually crazy. It has a nice little crust on the outside. Yeah. This is real bread. Like, I'm telling you right now, if someone gave this to you with, like, some avocado and an egg on top, you would not know that this is like made of chicken. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but I need you to try this. You have to try it and I want you to come back. All right. So I'll comment and let her know. I would say as far as the texture, 
it's closer to cornbread than bread, okay? So I don't want you all to think like light sandwich bread. Think cornbread, all right? So the denseness and the heaviness of a cornbread, if you can think of like a skillet cornbread with like bacon or sausage, that's what this is, okay? But I loved it. EKNL says, I guess colaches are a form of a pig in a blanket. Yeah. But it's not like bacon is like salty and smoky. This is more savory, more sausagey. I can't explain it, y'all. But cornbread with sausage. That's what it tastes like. But this was a lot of fun. All right. It does look like cornbread. Yeah. All right, everyone. So we are done. So I know I'm doing blueberry scones. Y'all want blueberry crepes. And there might have been something else. I'll be back tomorrow. We'll try and do a 12 o'clock stream if Lord willing and the creek don't rise, right? If nothing comes up. And uh, we'll just keep cooking. All right, everyone. Thank you all so much for being here. This was fun. Thank you for all of my uh, support. Thank you, E. Capone. Thank you, E. K. N. L. Thank you, Aries One. I appreciate you all so much. I didn't find fifteen, five, or two dollars in the laundry, so I am grateful. Thank you all for the feedback on the cookbook. That really means a lot to me. Let me go sit down and get them shipped out tonight. All right. Let's go ahead and dismiss TikTok. Y'all don't stop. Thank you so much. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Class is dismissed. Thank you for all of the hearts. But y'all know what? A good thing with this bread, because it's so heavy, a little bit goes a long way. You will not overeat this. Maybe like one or two slices. That's a meal. Chicken and eggs, straight protein. Good night, Jean Bean. Good night, Instagram. All right. And oh, you're welcome, Sage Page. Um, just send me, uh, check your email, uh, send me your daughter's name so I can spell it correctly. All right, everyone. Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter. I will see you all tomorrow. Class is dismissed.